So we are going to cover a little troubleshooting uh, thing that popped up for one of our users and I figured the best way to show them how to fix it was to show everybody how to fix it. So the issue that popped up is that both wing nuts on the front of the bed, there's also a wing nut in the back of the bed, I'll show you exactly where, um, but any combination, any one of the three, all of the three, uh, could have wiggled their way off throughout the course of a print. Now, these wing nuts are actually what holds your bed at a very specific point to make sure that your bed is level. So now, with both of these wing nuts off of the bed, the bed is no longer level. We need to figure out a way to re-level the bed so that we can get it back to where it needs to be in order to continue printing. The Mantis does auto bed level, but of course we want to give it the greatest starting point from which to actually start leveling, so we want to create as level a, human, uh, as level a playing field as possible when all of this stuff starts. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the way that we actually level your bed here at Mantis. And that's by using a digital level. This one's a Klein level. Um, this is about 30 bucks on Amazon right now. Uh, they also have other digital levels that have a magnetic base on them for 15 to $20. Um, so not an extraordinarily expensive piece of equipment. I'm going to show you a couple cheaper options as well. Um, but you will never get as accurate a result as you do with one of these. This actually has a magnetic base on it and it'll stay exactly where you put it. Doesn't matter, it's very strong. So as far as a recommendation goes, this is what we would definitely recommend you pick up so that you would always have this handy. Um, but if you don't have it, we're going to explore a couple other options. So we'll go ahead and get started with this one first. Somebody just pointed out that uh, we didn't tell you exactly which level we use. So this is it, it's a Klein level. They're fantastic levels. Um, and it works great for us. It's literally what we use to uh, calibrate every mantis that goes out the door. Um, so we'll go ahead and put a link to this thing uh, on Amazon or wherever they sell it um, in case somebody actually wanted to get the exact same level that we use. Like I said, this one's around $30. Um, so you can look for that in the description down below. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is get these wing nuts back onto the bed. As you can see, the bed is disconnected at this point from those front two wing nuts. So righty tighty lefty loosey. Just go ahead and get them back on. And once you get them back on, we're just going to snug them up. Not make them tight yet, but just snug it up enough that it's not going to wiggle itself back off. And at this point, you just kind of want to do a visual check. Make sure that everything looks visibly level so you're giving yourself as good a shot as you humanly can to not have to dial this thing in forever. Um, so if it looks, and to me it looks pretty level right now, then I think I've got a good starting point to, uh, to continue. Now that you've got your wing nuts in place and your bed is visibly level, what you're going to want to do is take your hot end and move it so that it is in the left side or right side of the bed. It truly doesn't matter as long as it's out of your way. And then you're going to want to situate your, the, the bar that your hot end sits on pretty much you know, as close to dead center in the bed as you can get it. It doesn't have to be phenomenally precise, but it does have to be as close as you can. Then what we're going to do is take our level, which in my case clips right onto the metal bar on the top with the magnet, and we're going to turn the level on and then we're going to zero the level out so that this is now at 0.0. .0. And then we're going to take the level and place it on the center of the bed. Now, as you can see, it's a little closer to the center. Right now, we've got a 0.1, and the goal is to get it to a zero. And now, yeah, right in the middle. And now, in the left and right direction, this bed is going to be completely level. Yep. And we can go ahead and call that level right there. And now we're going to do the exact same thing to the side. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing to this side of the bed. In order to stay out of the way of the belts, you can go ahead and clip this upside down there. We want to keep it in the middle of where the bed is located. So here are the two points on the edge of the bed, somewhere right around there, looks like the middle to me. Go ahead and get our level turned on, and then we'll zero the level out.
Once the level's at zero, we can place it in the center of the bed again. Okay, it looks like we're a little out. Now this time, instead of using the front two wing nuts, we're going to make this adjustment with the back wing nut. Okay, so we've got a zero there as well. At this point, your bed is level. What you're going to want to do is just kind of check to make sure that your wing nuts themselves aren't moving freely. The idea is that you want them to stay snug. If at any point you had to loosen a wing nut to the point where it was suddenly moving freely again, you'd want to start over and get everything nice and snug first. Not incredibly tight, but just to the point where it won't move so that it'll give you enough wiggle room to be able to cal calibrate that entire bed and make sure everything's level. So option two is going to be with your standard bubble level. Uh, you can pick these up literally anywhere. They're incredibly cheap. I've had this one for about 20 years and it's still going strong. So it, the process is going to be identical to what you just saw, what we did with the digital level. The difference is that instead of using the digital features to be able to dial it in precisely to tenths of a millimeter, we're going to be using our eyes to actually eyeball exactly how close it is or how far out it is. But the process is going to be the same. We're going to take the hot end, gently move it out of our way, and then we're going to place our level on top of our bar. And what you're going to do is mark mentally or however it works for you. You're going to mark to see whether that bubble is dead level or if it's actually a little bit out. And in this case, the level is a little bit out. So what we're going to do is match the bubble's location on this bar with the bubble's location on the bed. So right now, you'll see that because I already calibrated this bed using the digital level, they're both at the exact same location. In a normal circumstance, somebody might look at that bubble level and say that this bed is not level. But one thing you need to remember with respect to Core XY designed 3D printers, which is what the Mantis is, you're not looking for the level uh, the bed to be level to the earth, which is what a level actually calibrates. You want the bed to be level to these rails. So, whatever these rails are at is what you want your bed to be at. So up here, just to go over it one more time, I would take a look and note that that bubble is not precisely where I want it to be, but it's precisely where it's going to stay, which is fine. And then I'm going to make sure that when I go to the bed, I use the front two screws to make the bed match exactly where the bubble was located on the, the top rail. And I'll go ahead and quickly show you that on the side. The exact same process is true. We will move that out of the way. Once again, you could go underneath if you wanted to you would note exactly where that bubble is located. And then you would place the level on your bed. And this time you would use the back screw to make sure that the bubble location on the bed matches wherever the bubble location was on the rail. And that's how you'd level a bed using option two. So our last option is going to be an option that is sitting in pretty much everybody's pocket in America. Um, your smartphone, regardless of whether it's an Apple or a Samsung or pretty much any other uh, brand out there, has a digital level built into it. And we can use that to dial in the bed on the Mantis. So this is an iPhone. There's actually an app built into the iPhone that comes with uh, most of the recent iOS versions. It's called Measure. And it works exactly the same way that the digital level did. So you would place the iPhone on top of, or whatever phone you've got, on top of the center rail, and then you would tap the phone in order to zero out the level. You would then place your phone on the bed, and you would use the two screws in the front to dial that in so that the, the left and right motion 
is going to be uh, exactly where you want it to be and dead level. It doesn't, you don't have to worry about this being level or unlevel because that's not the way you're currently orienting the bed. This is about whether it's moving this way, so then you would be able to see whether it was in or whether it was out. We'll go ahead and take a look at the side. Same exact process. We'll go ahead and move this out of our way. You'll press the level up against the bottom. I mean, in this case, it's already zeroed out, but that's fine. There we go. It's going to be exactly where we want it to be. And then you would go ahead and place it on the bed. And you would see that in this case, once again, we don't care about the front and back. We're looking for the left and the right. And now this would be oriented exactly where you wanted it to be. And if it wasn't, you would take the back screw and you would dial it in until it matched that zero in the middle. And those are three ways to level your bed on a Mantis. I'm sure there are a few more ingenious ways out there, but these are three that we've uh, come up with that, that work great. I don't think they're expensive options, and in most cases, people already have the cell phone in their pocket. Um, but you can pick up a bubble level uh, pretty much anywhere for a couple of bucks. And if you wanted to go the uh, extra mile, then the digital level is at the most $30, but like I said, you can find them on Amazon or wherever you, you know, get that type of stuff for 15, 20 bucks. Um, so I hope that helps you out and uh, we'll see you soon.